Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another video of mine in which we configure Business Central. It's been a while since I've actually posted another video, but due to high volume of work that I am involved in, some different projects, it's been a very hefty amount of work that I have to actually do for my clients. Uh, for that reason, uh, I took some time to actually post this video. So. I will be actually jumping to something different today instead of us configuring uh, what we've been configuring for a while in my past uh, couple of videos that includes chart of accounts and workflows, even journals. Uh, today I'm going to actually jump to a little bit a step ahead, which is uh, creating reports. Uh, so today we will discuss analysis views and the next video. I hope to either introduce to something very cool that you might have not seen in any other videos, which is to create a custom made EFT, which is an electronic fund transfer that I had discussed at one point how to configure. But today uh, we're going to be talking about analysis views, but the next video is, could be either account schedule, which is also a reporting or custom made EFT document. Uh, without any programming or coding so that will be done within business central is part of sort of configuration a little bit of a development you could say but we will not be coding in this case everything is going to happen in business central as a as a functional consultant so it really depends on uh, how long it will take me to actually create a script and how i can set up things so i can walk you through but today at least we will be talking about analysis views for reporting purposes so uh, I have a bookmarked here, uh, what analysis views are, but you can always search, as you know, right here, if we can type that. So analysis views right here. So let me just click that, I guess. And this is what I have created uh, a while back. So we will actually go through it. Uh, the idea of analysis view is to use the dimensions like the way I have done and then uh, you can actually create your own custom reports. So in this case, I have actually created a general ledger report and then I'm using dimensions like partner, partner status, and income type. So these are just the uh, dimensions that I'm using to filter for reports. So I'm going to actually show you how to create your own reports. You're going to press basically press new. You're going to give it a code and a name. And the account source is normally your GL account because that's where all the information is coming from. Everything stored in your chart of accounts at the GL level is your account source. So this is why you need to select your account because there's no other source of data that's going to be extracted from. So once you have that, you're going to fill out some information like general ledger. Obviously, just give it a code that should be pre-filled from what you have selected or wrote, written down at the other window that I'm pointing down to right here. Give it a name of your report. Account source, it should be pre-filled when you actually create or create a new document or report. The date compression, you know, you can select uh, how you want your report to look like. And the starting date, uh, normally it's a good idea to start from the very first day of the year. And then you can always uh, try to go for a different year depending on your client. And these are the dimensions that you could use. Uh, these should be set up if you don't know how to set up dimensions and dimension values. Then have a look at my other uh, video uh, that I have actually uh, talked about and then configure dimensions and the value of uh, dimensions and how important it is for reporting purposes. So it's very keen and important to actually select your dimensions and talk to your client in that. So once you have that information, uh, you don't really need to do much up here. Uh, it's always a good idea to ask your client if they want to enable update on posting so every time somebody posts uh, a transaction this uh, report gets updated automatically or you can have your client um, go into this report and update by himself every time he, he or she needs to update and look at the report so it really matters on the preferences but i have actually uh, clicked on enable update on posting so that's why this is a boolean character saying it's true so once you have that uh, taken care of, then you're going to do analysis by dimension. So this is where exactly uh, the reporting is happening. 
uh, so analysis view code is your general manager and then show as line so you can either pick any one of them actually any of the, your dimensions that you have selected and it's uh, very easy so first now we'll go with the GL account and we won't uh, use any of these filters and uh, I'll use uh, this filter for another dimension that I'll show you but I don't really have any transactions associated with that filter but at least it'll give you a good idea so you're gonna have your columns. Uh, you can actually select different uh, uh, different uh, periods, uh, for that matter, day, week, uh, period. You can specify it here, and you simply just click on Show Matrix. So this is your basically report that, as an accountant or anyone from the finance team who wants to actually create your own custom build reports. Uh, you can do so you can use those filters and then for now I have actually done just a GL account so all these GL accounts as per period that I have specified uh, you, all the total amounts are right here so you could see I haven't really posted any transactions here but uh, it gives you a good idea about how to use analysis views and a stronger um, reporting tool is the actual account schedule so it actually gives you more uh, it gives you a little bit more of uh, hands-on experience a little bit more detail about reporting so for this uh, we will discuss account uh, schedules a little bit later in the video but as you can see now I'm going to use a different filter uh, let's go with partner status and in this I can use a filter like uh, income partner or an equity partner or anything like that so these are the dimension values you can filter with and then I'll just select the equity partner here and if I do show metrics so this is a direct admit equity partner that's the name of that partner and you can see I haven't actually posted any demo um, any amount associated with it or any transactions uh, to pay this vendor but it actually gives you the idea of what I'm trying what we're trying to accomplish so with that uh, I will conclude my video it's that easy it's uh, very easy to create your reporting analysis views and you can select different filters you can create different uh, reports such as for your purchases and for your sales or inventory etc so it really depends on what kind of um, report you want to create so next video stay tuned um, we will either configure EFTs uh, a custom made uh, uh, EFT document uh, which uh, will really depend on the bank uh, the information that bank gives you or we will just discuss a little bit about account schedule so stay tuned for that.